Alright, what is up guys? Codebird29 is back with a brand new video. Today, we are doing part 6 to our beginner scripting series. I know you guys have been really enjoying this, so I'm just going to get right into it. After you hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit it before you start, but today we are doing wild loops. Sorry about my resolution. I don't know if you can actually tell on this. It actually might be better for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to stop talking now. Let's get into wild, uh, wild loops. So last time we did four loops. There's a new kind of loop called while loops so i'm going to go ahead and disable all these scripts like we did last time just so that they don't get in our way now i'm going to insert a script into server script service so this is a new script and we can just call this script while loop or loops okay how do you write a while loop and what is a while loop so let's start out with the what is a while loop well a while loop is basically a condition based loop so last time we went through a count based loop count based loop which means it's going a certain number of times while loops are condition loops okay so we're saying while something so like while it is daytime turn on turn off the lights and while it's night we're going to turn on the lights like our old um, if statements example it's a condition so we can say something like while true do oh gosh sorry about that color that's awful guys give me one second all right sorry about that there we go i got my color fixed um yeah, I don't know what's happening, but if you want to fix that, you can go into File and then Studio Settings and go under Script Color. Anyway, um, if that's happening to you. This is saying, while true do, so this is just going to happen forever. So we could say print hello, and forever and ever and ever would print hello, but don't run it. Please don't run it. Your studio will crash because it's trying to do this every single, every single millisecond of a millisecond of a millisecond i know that's not a thing guys i'm not I, anyway um so it's trying to run forever and ever and ever so we can tell it to wait wait one before it goes on okay so it's gonna now print every second forever so if we run this game and hit play down in the output we should see forever and ever and ever every second it will print hello so, sorry, my, my studio is just lagging. I'm not lying. All right, we got hello, hello, oh, hello, hello, hello. And it's saying this is how many times it's already printed it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, every second, okay? So, those are that's the basic um, while loop. But let's go, go ahead and grab a, get a condition in here, okay? So, let's just say local um, a variable, okay? And we're just going to say uh, hat equals hat, like that, okay? And we can just say while hat equals equals hat. It's like a an, an if statement. We're saying while hat is equal to hat as a string, then we'll do this. So we can print um, hat, okay? And then we can wait a second. So every second, as long as hat is equal to hat, all right. As long as the variable hat is the string hat, then we will be printing it every second. So this should constantly print. But let's check out what would happen if we don't have hat set to um, set to hat. What if we had it set to lowercase hat? It shouldn't print anything. So let's go into the output. Because Lua is cap sensitive, which means it has to be a capital letter or a lowercase le letter to work. See, we don't have any hats. Because our, we're asking if, it, if hat, the variable is equal to hat with a capital H. But here we're saying, it no, it is a lowercase h. So it's not going to print anything. But let's say, let's put it back to hat. And we're going to wait a second and we're going to say hat e uh, equals hat so now after we've printed hat and waited a second we've now changed it to a lowercase hat let's let's test it out what do you guys think is going to happen because we said while hat is equal to hat watch this this is cool we only have one hat because hat was equal to capital h hat only one time because after one time we waited a second and we changed it to lowercase hat so now it's not going to run anymore 
Now, I know this can get confusing, but something I want to say is occasionally this isn't going to work super well. and We're going to need a break, okay? And how do you break? And what is a break? Well, I've had problems where it will still continue to loop even when I don't want it to, even when the condition is false. And I, I'm i not super good with while loops. I'm going to be fully honest with you guys, okay? Um, but we can just say if hat is equal to hat, then break. Break is saying get out of this while loop and move on to what's next, okay? So if hat is equal to lowercase hat, then it's going to break, okay? All right. So, if hat is equal to lowercase uh, case h hat, then we're going to break. So, we're going to get out of this while loop and get on to what's next. So, now if we play the game, it should still print hat once, but it's just breaking out of the while loop because we told it to by saying break. So, this is a really easy way that we can check for multiple things that can affect our loops, okay? I know this can get confusing, but just bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and delete. Actually, I'm just going to drop a few lines, okay? So we've, all, we've done all that, but let's get a little more complicated uh, because, you know, I like complicated stuff. We can say while, wait, one, do, uh, and then let's call a function. So let's create a function real quick. We'll just call this function print hello. I know this color is weird, just... We're going to just have to deal with it. Um, and then we can just say print hello. And now we can just say print. Uh, we can call whoops, print hello. Like that. So this is just saying while wait one do. This is the exact same thing as whiting. Uh, whiting? I'm not. What's, what's that dude? Elmer Fudd. There we go. I'm not Elmer Fudd. Okay. While true do print hello wait uh one it's the same exact thing it's just saving us an extra line and making our code a lot nice and easier to understand it's still saying we're gonna do this every single second okay it's the same exact thing as doing this when we say while wait and then we could even set this to 0.1 so it's gonna wait 0.1 seconds every time it goes through again so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and we can just say after this um, we can just have a variable called i, we'll set local i equals to 1, and then we'll say i equals i plus 1, so every time we loop through again, it's going to add 1 to i, and we can say if i equals equals 5, then break. So we're looping through, and every time we loop through, we're adding 1 to this variable called i, as well as passing the func- or as calling the function, okay? And then once i is equal to 5, then we're going to come out of this while loop and go on to whatever's next, which there's nothing right now, so it's just going to stop altogether. But let's print, uh, let's run this, and it should print, um, <coughs> it should, <coughs> I can't talk, I'm sorry. Um, it should print hello five times. Watch this, hello, hello. We can scroll up a little. Uh, we have... Oops, sorry, it should print it four times because it's starting out as one. If we wanted it to print uh, five times exactly, just do this. Set i to zero. Um, and then add uh, one to i each time. And then that should work. And that is the basics of while loops. I know this was like a shorter video, but um, it's honestly a shorter concept. That's why it was a shorter video. But that is actually it. Just play around with while loops and um, make sure to add what all that we've done so far so variables functions for loops while loops uh printing we have done so much if statements there you go um and then we can say like else print i is not equal to five right nope we can play around we can do tons of stuff eventually i'm hoping to when this series is over because this series can't go on forever i'm hoping to um eventually at the end of the series have the last video be taking everything we learn and making an actual roblox game with it uh, i think that'd be a fun ending so make sure to like the video if you think that's a good idea and you want me to do that for the last part don't worry i don't think we're going to be ending anytime soon i'm planning to have quite a few more parts uh coming out and i know you guys are enjoying these so make sure to subscribe if you're not already 
please do uh, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell because it helps me out a lot. And uh, if you're interested, uh, there, I've said this before, but there is a Code Row 29 Robux shirt that I think is pretty cool. You can head down to the description and click that. It's only 10 Robux. Um, so if you want to buy that for 10 Robux, you can. And you can help support the uh, channel in that way. Um, it may support funds for possibly doing like a competition at some point. I've thought about doing that. No promises but it may support funds for that so i hope you guys enjoyed this part if you did make sure to subscribe like i said and i'll see you next time thanks for watching see you later guys